If you create video or audio content, you probably dread seeing this screen as much as I do. Video and audio files take up a ton of space. And not only that, they're kind of a pain to deal with. From having to import lots of video files from an SD card, saving WAV files to your computer, and then to manage it all, you probably have a ton of external drives and SSDs like this one. Now there's a place for all that. Maybe you're recording in the field, like literal field or just outside, but video and audio files take up a ton of space. This is a 4K video file I recorded on one of my Sony cameras and it's 60 gigabytes. And if you shoot multicam like I do, that's 60 gigabytes times two or three. And if I'm recording uncompressed WAV files, we're talking a gig and a half per podcast per track. That's just a lot of storage space needed. And if you're saving it all directly to your computer, it's probably filled up pretty fast, or maybe just dealing with importing and deleting a bunch of files on external drives. Well, there's an easier way to do all of that. And that's why I use Riverside to record all of my video podcast content. Recording with Riverside is incredibly easy. Everything happens right here in the browser with Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Riverside really shines when you're recording with remote guests. Invite remote guests with the invite button here, copy that guest link, and they can open that on their computer, or they can use one of the Riverside mobile apps for iPhone, Android, and iPad, and you can record in high quality video and audio on all of those devices. Riverside also supports recording in up to 4K video quality if you have a compatible video capture card or mirrorless camera. So not only is it great for podcast content or maybe webinars with remote guests, you can record and live stream here in Riverside, but even for your solo talking head content, save your computer storage and do it all here in Riverside. Once I hit the record button here at the bottom, I'm gonna start recording in local high quality video and audio. All of your content is gonna remain high quality because Riverside is actually saving those video and audio files to your computer, but only temporarily. It's not gonna take up any permanent storage space on your machine. For you and your remote guests, everything happens that way. This way, if there's internet blips or stutters in the connection, none of that is in the recording, all because of the Riverside local recording difference. Then when you're done recording your content, you can hit the stop button here at the bottom and you'll see those files are then uploaded to the Riverside cloud. This way those files don't stay on your computer taking up space. And you can access all of those files, both for you and any remote guests and download those high quality wave and up to 4K video files all in your Riverside cloud anytime you want. For instance, I can go to one of my past recordings here on my Riverside dashboard. We have amazing AI tools like AI show notes, which will generate takeaways, keywords to use in your YouTube tags, titles, sound bites, and chapter markers. You can generate magic clips, which will create vertical video from your content automatically. But down at the bottom is where the magic happens. All those files that were uploaded to Riverside, you can download the high quality raw video file, which let's just download that right now, both for you and any of your remote guests. And you can also download the uncompressed raw audio file here from Riverside. Now, if you're like me, maybe you've been podcasting for a long time, you know those uncompressed wave audio files you recorded locally on your computer, they were just the highest quality you can get. But I will tell you personally, I've actually started using these uncompressed wave files because as we're recording a podcast, if I need to cough, I'll use the mute button here in the Riverside studio, and then those coughs aren't in my uncompressed wave file. And if I did a recording in a separate app, that's gonna have all those coughs and stutters. So I've actually been downloading the wrong compressed wave audio for my personal audio version of the podcast. And as you can see, here's the high quality video file I just downloaded from Riverside. I can preview that. And if I want to, I can pull this into another editor like Final Cut or Adobe Premiere and still edit my raw video files. In the same way, I have my uncompressed wave audio file that I can bring into an audio editor of my choice. So while you can download those high quality video and audio files, the real magic is you can edit right here in Riverside and not have to download any of them. This is actually how I edit my video podcast. Right here in the Riverside editor, you can select words or phrases in the transcript and deleting that is actually editing your video and audio for this clip. And this is non-destructive, so you can always start over with all of the content you recorded. If you need to search for a word or phrase, you can search here and find all the instances either in the transcript, jump to those points for editing, and see them down here in the timeline with a little context, who spoke it, and the timestamp. We also auto-generate chapters down here at the timeline, and you can add chapter markers by moving the playhead and then click the Add Chapter tool here, or you can add it right here in the transcript by clicking with the cursor and then adding here. You can also add text overlays, image overlays, and even upload your own images to overlay on the video. More on that in a second. You can also add intro and outro clips by clicking the plus icon at the beginning or end of the timeline, pull from your other recordings in your Riverside Studio, or upload a custom clip to insert it here. We also have magic tools right here in the editor, like our set pace feature. Remove the perfect amount of silence. You can go for a faster pace or slower, and we'll tell you how many pauses are removed and how much time, one minute, 30 seconds, with this setting. If I hit apply, I can then zoom into the timeline and see all those silences that were cut 
And if I need to refine those edits, I can zoom really far in and make those precision edits just by clicking and dragging the in and out points on the different sections. If I wanna make a clip for YouTube Shorts or TikTok, I can quickly change the format of the video, it makes it super fast to create that short form video from your long form content. I can also rearrange the tracks by clicking and dragging here. Maybe I wanna add some space between me and the co-host, round the corners, and you can even upload a custom logo or background image. I'll apply that to my video, plus our caption feature, including animated captions. You can select from boxed or highlighted animation, this way, as you and your guests talk, you'll see those words highlighted. This is great for that short form vertical content as well. Like I mentioned, you can search for royalty free images to overlay or click the uploads tool and you can overlay images that you've added to your studio, resize it, move it around the frame. And you can also do text overlays, great for lower thirds, URLs for sponsors and more. Then when you're ready to export, you can click the export button here in the top right corner. And even if you record it in 1080p, you can export a 4K resolution video right here in the editor normalize audio so everything's the same volume, then export that finished 4K video, upload it to YouTube or Spotify for podcasters, and now you recorded and edited all that high quality video and audio content here in Riverside. And you didn't have to download any files to take up any space on your computer. Then you can go back and export an audio file, like an MP3 for your podcast host, normalize those volume levels again, and then export. So not only do you get powerful editing tools with Riverside, but you can save that storage space and let Riverside handle all that high quality video and audio. If you'd like to learn more about using Riverside and get a full walkthrough of the platform, I'll put a playlist right here where I walk you through all the features. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. And if you're looking to upgrade your setup, maybe you do want to get 4K video, cameras, microphones, and audio interfaces, I'll put a video right up here where you can get pro video and audio at home for all different budget levels. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you go. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.